What's up everybody, Bryce and Michael RC here, and we've got another cosplay Thursday for you guys today. Today is another one of the Infinity Stones, the Eye of Agamotto. This was a fun print to print, an extremely fun print to print, and if you guys have a 3D printer and you're 3D printing anything that has to do with cosplay or anything that has to do with Marvel, I suggest that you make one of these because this is it's just awesome and it's easy to put together it's a great file and then if you do this one make sure that you go and do the stand that was created by the broken nerd right here this goes right along with it it fits in here you can see these little uh, grooves right in here and it fits right along this edge right inside of those grooves now this groove isn't a hundred percent right here or the stand is in 100%. There's like three dots along each side here. And there's a little bit more design to it. But it does have a little battery pack spot down here in case you just want to put it on the stand and run your electrical stuff down to the, to the bottom of the stand and never wear it. Uh, or if you want to put your battery pack on the back like mine is, right here. And then when you get done, you can put the battery pack underneath if it's small enough. My battery pack isn't small enough. It looks like a double A battery pack that goes underneath. Um, but mine's not, so just a tad bigger but I like this this is this is this is a great stand and I'm glad it came with a stand or else I'd have been like what to do with it <laughs> like my my orb that's right here uh, I I went and found that that little magnetic thing that Star Lord throws that little triangular magnetic thing and I, I printed it off it's not finished if you guys haven't seen that one yet but even the magnetic thing has LEDs in it that thing's gonna be amazing and that's gonna be not next week, but the week after that, because next week is the first arc reactor for Iron Man. But anyways, back to the Eye of Agamotto. Let me show you guys. You guys have already seen the build thing. I've already put the process video up. That's been up since either Monday or Tuesday or something. This right here is a mess up. This is done in a, a baby blue Solotech PLA, and uh, somebody glued it. It wasn't supposed to be glued, but oh well. That's all right. It ended up skipping a layer. You guys can see that it's moved this way. If you look at the side here, it's moved over just a little bit. But this kind of shows you what it looks like in the PLA here and what the back mechanism looks like. There's a little thing that goes right in here and connects to these two pieces. Plus these broke off. There's a specific way that you want to print these and it's already set up in the file, so I always suggest you not rotating them around or anything. I just printed them the way that they were already presented because the, and I can't remember, the something industries, I'll put the name here and I'll leave it in the, it, by the link in the description. Uh, the people who created this, uh, when they released the files to Thingiverse, I think they released the files with, the, with them exactly on the bed, how they, how they should be positioned, the best way for them to be positioned. And that's just the way that I printed them because I printed this differently. I also printed all the pieces on one thing because you can fit them all on a smaller bed like the any cubic i3 mega. I put all the pieces onto one bed and tried to print it all at once and that's where this one came from. It, all the pieces were messed up. So then I actually tried it again. Those pieces messed up as well. And then I did them one by one and I got the finished piece. So I would suggest you print them the way that they come in the file. And I would suggest that uh, you don't print them all at once, print them separately. And I've said this before a couple times, sometimes to save time or just because I don't want to mess with it a few times, I'll put five or six different, if they're small enough to go one by one, I'll put a bunch of different ones on there and just print them all at the same time. The only thing that sucks about that is if it messes up, if it has a layer skip or if it uh, shifts or something, layer shift or something like that, then it does it on all of them, not just one piece and then the whole thing's messed up and you may be you know you may have a bunch of two or three hour prints that end up becoming a 12 15 hour print and then it's almost done and then you have a huge layer shift and then you have to restart all over rather than just you know you're only a half an hour in it has a layer shift you just you know what i mean it just to me you can save time grouping them all together as a total time uh, but if it messes up you actually don't save any time at all. In fact, you add up time onto it. So, uh, I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like in just the PLA. 
Uh, even with a layer shift, it looks pretty decent. But uh, you can see that I had to switch the colors out uh, there. Anyways, that's going to go in my mess ups along with my mess up Boba Fett and my mess up uh, <laughs> Star Lord. Put all my mess ups together. Anyways, here is the Eye of Argamoto here. It's got this cool little mechanism on the back. You can see here my wires are coming out of the back. Uh, this thing twists and you have to watch out because well, I gotta remember the direction that it twists open. Sometimes, like right now, the paint can kind of get a little thick inside. This is a pretty tight fit and you can get too thick on the paint on the eyelids that are on the inside there. Uh, these eyelids there. You can get a little thick on those and then it has trouble opening back up and there's a specific way that I figured out how to do this and I haven't played around with it in a little while so I can't figure out I think I pulled this side out I think I don't remember now uh, it opens about that much I've got I think five or six green LEDs in here to make it super bright you guys can't really tell right now um, in this lighting just how bright this is but it's just about like a flashlight when I first hooked this up and I just had this back piece off uh, I was walking through the house literally with a green flashlight it had a beam and everything to it it was really really bright so and I wanted it to be that bright because of the infinity stone thing uh, you can see how bright this one is how bright this one is here this one I didn't get to make this one as bright only because it comes with a visible stone and the visible stone isn't really all that big so you can only fit a certain amount of LEDs inside of it. I think I might make that a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. I gotta see what can all fit inside of the orb. Uh, but I could fit five LEDs inside of this. Five or six. I think it... Oh, I can't even tell from the back because I put it all into a single thing. And then I ran the wires out the back, up, the, up this part, and then up the necklace to the back to a battery pack. And the reason being is because you're never going to see that battery. I put the battery pack exactly in the middle. So this thing doesn't move around at all. The necklace doesn't. It stays right there on your back. And if I were to get a Doctor Strange suit, it comes with the, the cape that goes over it. The cape of levitation, I think, or the cloak of levitation, I guess is what it, what it comes with. And it would hide that battery pack. Or anything that you would wear with this would hide the battery pack. So you can even put it down. A little bit use the weight of it to put it down in the back of your back to where this comes up just a little bit more and still hide it even more so I guess you could put it down inside the back of your shirt so and then I used black shoelaces right here and painted the the wires that go from you can see the black here in the green here and then I painted them all black all the way up here I actually wrap them around and then I taped this off to where you couldn't see it anymore and then I sprayed the, the shoelaces and everything all the way up to the back I sprayed them with black spray paint so it gives it this nice stiff rigid feel to it there's parts where the wire sticks to the uh, shoelace itself that way it doesn't move around or anything and you can't really see it uh, you can't really see the wires it, it when you do see it it almost just looks like that uh, the braided necklace that the actual eye of Argamoto has except I haven't put the colors in there's like blue on one side and red on the other on the actual necklace and I haven't gotten to putting that in yet uh, I've got to figure out how to get this uh, I, I tried before I sprayed it black I tried to <clears throat> to use acrylics on this and there's something about shoelaces and acrylics it really just doesn't work uh, it doesn't get it the right color so I'm gonna try something else, maybe some spray paint or something, maybe just section some parts off, I'm not sure. So, I don't think it necessarily needs it right now, that's why I'm showing this now instead of later whenever I finally get to that because I could ruin it in the future, uh, but it doesn't necessarily need it right now because this is basically complete. Uh, it was painted a brilliant gold by Rust-Oleum and then I used a, an acrylic silver that I show in the, the process video on this part here and then I went out let me close that and then I went over these parts with uh, silver rub and buff 
And then these parts with golden rub, rub and buff, so it makes it look like it's got a metallic shine to it rather than just looking plastic. Uh, because the gold spray paint and the silver acrylic doesn't really get that bright and that metallic looking. Uh, so uh, I think that looks a ton better uh, that way. And you guys can judge for yourselves in the process video. If you should go back and look at that, I show you what it looks like with the acrylic and then what it looks like with the rub and buff. So uh, let me show you guys turn this around and I'll kind of show you guys the battery pack. You can see the shoelaces were wrapped around the battery pack until it got sized. I wanted to leave as much shoelace on here in case it needed to be bigger or smaller. Uh, I can size it whatever I want. All I've got to do is take off these zip ties here and I don't think I showed you guys that in the video. All I got to do is take the zip ties off and extend it or you know just roll it up whichever one. If my son wants to wear it I can roll it up. Uh, and zip tie it and then unzip tie it and unroll it so and then this has got an on and off switch so you can see it goes on and off so you don't have to have it on at all times anyways that's the eye of Argamoto one of my favorite cosplays uh, Doctor Strange if you guys have seen Doctor Strange this is the um, time stone. So we've got, now you guys have seen the Tesseract, which is a space stone, the Ether, which is the reality stone, and the Eye of Argamoto, which is the time stone. And then we've got the Orb, which is right there. The Orb is the power stone. Oh, this Tesseract, did I say space stone on the Tesseract? I think I did, but then the, the power stone and then up here above me you can see Loki's staff which is the mind stone and then uh, once we show you guys all that that's basically all we can show you because you can't do the soul stone so uh, next week since uh, since there's six infinity stones all together and we've already showed you the Tesseract uh, I want to make six videos all together and so since we can't show you guys the soul stone I'm gonna be showing you guys Iron Man's arc reactor next week because uh, that's kind of a smaller cosplay just like these things and then after that I'll be showing you guys the orb and Loki's staff the following weeks after that and then we're gonna be getting into some ABS cosplays I just posted a video the other day of some ABS how to how to print ABS in a cardboard box hopefully you guys go and watch that And if you're printing with an any cubic i3 mega it shows you exactly how I print uh, ABS now I will tell you that small things like uh, ships, this is a carrier. It did not print so well. Uh, and I don't know if it was just the print. None of the ships that I printed, I did, I did, uh, I did ships and I also did submarines so we could play with some stuff in the pool. And it might just be, I mean the ABS is super soft. It's a super soft plastic. And while I was taking the supports off, it kind of ripped some holes in the tank in that one. Uh, this one is probably the best one that it printed. So these small, highly detailed things, I would probably suggest I had this set on normal. I had everything pretty much low um, because I, I do cosplay stuff and so anything that prints crappily, I can kind of sand it down and fix it myself. And so I would suggest if you're printing something like this in ABS, uh, PLA would have done this perfectly because PLA is harder more rigid it's stronger uh, so taking the supports and stuff off it wouldn't have ripped big old gashes into the print itself and stuff so that's one thing that just sucks about ABS but if you're printing this stuff uh, make them bigger I guess and don't just print it in normal print it in in the the highest way that you can whatever your settings are and stuff so uh, up to you guys like every video, I'm going to give you guys a close and around look at this Eye of Argamoto print. Um, of course, I, I while I was building this, I was thinking, you know, because you're staring at the actual movie one while you're trying to paint and everything, trying to get it correct. Uh, so there are some suggestions that I would have for this. In fact, if you guys can see on the inside of here, let me turn this off. Uh, inside of here is the one that's more designed if you look at the inside of here there's really no design on the inside and that's from the original file 
and then that one has the designs and stuff on the inside so it's awesome this one's I'll put three I guess there's gonna be three links in there the remix to the uh, inside plate which turned out perfectly and and it's, it's such small design that it holds that weathering just amazingly uh, and then you can see there's a clear piece of PLA circle right there in front of the LED lens I printed that off myself using Tinkercad uh, just just got the dimensions and I put a circle down and made it real thin and so that's not available on Thingiverse or anything but there is a guy who makes a cover for the inside of here and a battery pack cover for the back of here if you just go down to the remixes and click on the remixes you can find that so so if you do want to put some LEDs and then put a cover over the LEDs that way it blends them all together because if I didn't have that cover over it you'd be able to see each individual LED instead they all go together as one big light so that's that's kind of the effect that I wanted from it and it mine ended up being too small anyways and I had to um, really push it down and glue it more so to the LED lights rather than to the outside edge of the uh, containment thing for the LEDs so I'll put the link in the description for the for the inside more detailed inside part um, and for the stand one more look at the stand you guys I'll I'll kind of put this on the stand for you to where how I kind of set it up just put it on the stand and in the movie the necklace kind of wraps around it and then I just leave the battery pack behind but you can make it big enough if you have the right size battery to put the battery back in the bottom there but mine's not the right size so I'm kind of just twist it and put it there and that's what she looks like. Bam! I have Arkimoto going right there with the other infinity stones. One, two, three, four, and five. We've got two more to go. Keep checking back every Thursday. Hit that notification button. Um, hit that bell so you guys get updated every time that I post a new video every Thursday so you guys can see these things come out if you guys want to see the very finished ones. My name is Bryson Michael RC. Keep checking back. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one.